My name is Ida Nakova. I come from Kakamega County and currently residing in Nairobi. I'm a former beauty queen, Miss Rose in Kakamega County. Uh, 2013, I'm the pioneer and I'm currently a commercial and editorial model and I also do visual arts. I believe in myself first thing and whenever I get into a competition I have these positive thoughts that is either I, I be number one or not and the odds of being the best are always high no matter the circumstances. When we won, when I won, of course they were they were jubilations, and uh, my pictures were the ones that I had taken from college. And then we came to Nairobi to do a Polaroid shoot. A Polaroid shoot. The pictures that will introduce us to the country to know that you are the present. You represent a certain county. So when we came for the photo shoot. I was, there's, uh, during photo shoots, there are test shoots before they go to the main photography. So I was used for those tests. They were checking the lighting, the camera settings, the way the camera people do. So they used me. I was their muse at that time. Uh, yeah. And then the others were photographed when everything was set. And then I think, that since we were many, we were 40, 42. They forgot to take a picture of me. So when they went to social media, they used my picture. And during that time, the lighting was not so perfect. So I came out really dark. Not that I'm projecting against yes. dark uh, yeah. people, but it was really bland and plain. So from there, and then I remember the pose that I was in, it's a, I look at a lot of international models. So it was a pose that I had uh, I got the idea from an international model. I was sitting down, posing with my legs. Yeah, so the focus was on the legs and not on the face. So the world uh, busted. The next thing I was on Twitter and I was being called all the ugly names. The main focus was, you're ugly. And when you tell a 21 year old that she's ugly, this is a pre after teenagehood, you're still a teenager. So when you make such statements, they really ask one's uh, esteem. They remember I, I will delete my social media, deactivate. And then my former friends will call me, Watu wana kutusi, umeona venye unatusiwa. Back then I didn't know that even your social media pages should be managed by someone else if you can't control yourself. My self-esteem was was act, but thanks to my brother, he was just from abroad. So, and uh, he, studied, he studied international business, so he knew what's good for business and what's not bad for business. So he advised me not to get back at them. Because I remember I, I will delete my social media, deactivate. And then my former friends will call me, Watu wana kutusi, umeona venye unatusiwa. Back then I didn't know that even your social media pages should be managed by someone else if you can't control yourself. Yeah, so it was all encouragement from my father and mother and my brother mostly, he played a bigger role. He would tell me, the moment you get back to them, you give them power. So the best thing is to cool. So he asked me to put off my phone. I put off my phone for, for a day. And then I remember the following morning, he told me something better is on its way. Brands are seeing that, yeah. The media are seeing that. So you keep it low. So when I, I switched on my phone, I logged on to Facebook. I don't know why I did it, because I was not supposed to. Then I found a message from Larry Mado, yeah, inviting me for, for an interview. Yeah. So that's when, when my soul cooled and my brother told me, you see, go sell yourself, go sell your county. Yeah. That's it. Not everyone will have that opportunity. 